Hello everyone. Welcome to the next topic, 11th in the second unit interference. This topic named was interference by a film with two non-parallel reflecting surfaces, wedge-shaped film. So, in this topic, we will discuss about the what is wedge-shaped film and from this system we will calculate the determination of diameter of wire. Let's begin the topic. Consider a plain glass plate. On the edge of this plain glass plate, place a thin shape of wire having diameter D. On this place a plain glass plate. So, it becomes a slanted glass plate. These plates are meeting at a point called point of suspension. As a result, air film is formed in between the two plain glass plates. Consider alpha is the angle between the two plain glass plates and L is the distance between O point to the wire. Here, wire diameter is very small. This will be in the order of micrometers. That means generally in the size of our hair cross section. So, this system has increased in thickness as we move from point of suspension to the diameter of wire. Hence, this system is called wedge shaped film. So, this is a definition for the wedge shaped film. When this system is illuminated with a monochromatic wavelength, lambda of light sources, then the fringes should be straight. These fringes will be formed on the slanted glass plate. Now, consider the light rays are coming from the source S yes, will incident on convex lens CL. This can be viewed on this animation. Now the incident light rays refract into the lens and incident on glass plate G as shown in this animation. Here the glass plate G is making 45 degree angle with the incident light rays which are coming from CL. When these light rays incident on glass plate G, then they split into two types of light rays. One is refracted and goes up to upside as shown in this animation. Assume that these light rays are one. Similarly at G, the light rays reflected and goes down. After this, these light rays are incident on this system that is wedge shaped film. After this incidence, these light rays are reflect from this system and undergo path change in between the glass plates of air film. These reflect light rays are directly goes up. This can be viewed on this animation. Now, assume that these light rays are second or two. Hence, due to the path difference between the two light rays, one and two, they superpose on each other and forms interference pattern on the slanted glass plate. This we can be viewed with microscope M. This can be viewed on this animation. This is a description of the wedge shaped film. Or suppose, nth bright fringe is formed on the slanted glass plate. Hence, the condition for nth bright fringe is 2 mu t cos r plus alpha is equal to 2n plus 1 into lambda by 2. Here, n is is equal to 0, 1, comma, 2, comma, 3, comma, so on. Here, it is reflected light system. That's why we have written 2n plus 1 into lambda by 2 on right hand side. Here, 
the light rays are incidenting normally and the refracting angle r becomes 0 degrees air film is formed in between the glass plate and slanted glass plate so refractive index nu is equal to 1 which is implies cos r is equal to 1 here alpha is the angle between the glass plates and t is the thickness of air film when the nth bright fringe is formed so we can write as a 2t cos alpha is equal to 2n plus 1 into lambda by 2 assume this is first equation here the path difference is depending on the thickness of the air film t that's why straight line fringes are formed on the slanted glass plate from equation 1 we can write as that means 2xn tan alpha cos alpha is equal to 2n plus 1 into lambda by 2 assume this is second equation because from the triangle OAN we can write tan alpha becomes T by Xn. Here in this animation we can observe from this the nth bright fringe is a thickness of T of A film and Xn is the horizontal distance from O to the nth bright fringe. Hence in the second equation tan alpha into cos alpha will become sin alpha. And second equation implies 2xn sin alpha is equal to 2n plus 1 into lambda by 2. Assume this is third equation. Similarly from the n plus 1th bright fringe, the condition for bright fringe is 2xn plus 1 into sin alpha is equal to 2 into n plus 1 plus 1 into lambda by 2. Assume this is fourth equation. Just I put n plus 1 instead of n in third equation. So we will get fourth equation. Hence we can write 2xn plus 1 into sin alpha is equal to 2n plus 3 into lambda by 2. Assume this is fifth equation. Now subtract 5 and 3. Then we can write as 2 into xn plus 1 minus xn into sin alpha is equal to 2n plus 3 minus 2n plus 1 into lambda by 2. Assume this is sixth equation. That means here I took common the values of 2 and sin alpha in the left hand side. Similarly, I took common lambda by 2 on right hand side. By solving sixth equation, we get right hand side as a lambda and so we can write as a equation 2 into xn plus 1 minus xn into sin alpha is equal to lambda. Assume this is seventh equation. Hence we can write as xn plus 1 minus xn is equal to lambda by 2 sin alpha. Assume this is eighth equation. Here alpha is the angle between the two plates. In reality, these two glass plates angles are very small. So we can write this into sin alpha approximately equal to alpha. Hence, the eighth equation can be written as xn plus 1 minus xn is equal to lambda by 2 alpha. Assume this is ninth equation. Here xn plus 1, xn are the distance from O of n plus 1 and n bright fringes respectively. So the distance between two successive bright fringes is always called as a fringe width. So equation 9 can be written as beta is equal to lambda by 2 alpha. Assume this is 10th equation. But from the above animation, from the triangle, we can write as alpha approximately equal to tan alpha, which is equal to d by l. Assume this is 11th equation. Here, d is the diameter of the wire and l is the distance between O point to wire. From 
10 and 11 equations, we know that here beta is equal to lambda by 2 alpha and also we know that alpha is equal to d by l. Put alpha in 10th equation, then we can write as beta is equal to lambda by 2 into d by l. So, from 13, we can simplify this equation, then we can get d is equal to lambda l by 2 beta. Assume this is 14th equation. This 14th equation gives the diameter of the wire. Here, l is the distance between the point of suspension O and diameter of the wire on the plain glass plate. This can be measured with a scale and lambda is the wavelength of monochromatic source. Here beta is the fringe width which can be evaluated with microscope readings. Finally, we get the diameter of the wire in the order of micrometers. So, the formula becomes d is equal to lambda l by 2 beta. So, this is our topic. So, please Subscribe our Telugu Gamanam channel for more lecture videos. Click the bell icon for notifications. If you want to get lecture notes for this lecture video, click the description link below in the lecture video. Thank you for watching this video. See you again in the next lecture video. Have a nice day. Thank you, thank you one and all.